Hello, I'm Bishop Jeff Haynes, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, and welcome to our Sunday Reflection. Here's kind of an interesting and a bit unusual story. One day I was sitting in my office at the rectory, and a gentleman walked in. He just kind of sat down and uh, took a very deep breath and started to talk to me in a very somber tone. He said to me, Father, I have something kind of hard to tell you. He said, I think I'm going to hell. And I was really taken aback, and I said, excuse me? He says, no, it's true. He said, I, I, th I think I'm going to hell. And I said, why would you say that? And he said to me, well, as a Christian, you know, we're, we're supposed to believe in forgiveness, and I'm supposed to forgive everyone, but there's a person I, I just cannot forgive. I said, you must have been hurt very profoundly, very deeply. And he says, yes, it, it hurts so much, I just can't even conceive of forgiving this person. And that's why I'm so worried about going to hell. I don't want to go. And I said, well, if, if you can't forgive the person all at once, do you think you could do it in stages? And he says, well, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, well sometimes I think forgiveness is a process. and We can't do it all at once. It hurts too much. So we have to do it little by little. And he said, well, how would I do that? I said, why don't you start tonight and just pray? Pray for the grace to start thinking about forgiving this person, just thinking about it. And he goes, would, would that be enough? I said, no, but it's a start. It's a start. And maybe if you start there, and little by little, the grace of God will, come in, will be coming into your heart, and he'll move you along the rest of the way. Our gospel today comes from the good news of Matthew. It's from chapter 18, and it's from a dialogue between St. Peter and Jesus. And Peter asked Jesus the question, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often do I need to forgive him? And Peter starts out by actually making a suggestion to Jesus. He says, well, how about seven times? And actually, Peter probably was pretty proud of himself there. He thought he was being generous because most of the rabbis in that era said you only had to forgive someone three times. And in that era, the number seven was a symbolic number. It meant completeness. So I'm sure in his mind, Peter was thinking, well, that, that's enough then. But Jesus comes right back and he says, no, Peter, not, not just seven times, but 77 times. What Jesus meant was that you have to keep on forgiving, forgiving and forgiving. I suspect most of us, when we think of that, continuous forgiveness, think about forgiving many people, many different sins. But maybe it also relates to the story I told about someone who was struggling to forgive one person. And maybe when Jesus talked about keep on forgiving, he meant you have to keep trying little by little to get to a place of forgiveness in certain relationships. Forgiveness, I think, sometimes is a process, and it doesn't come all at once. Because I know I've met some people who've said they've forgiven a person, but when they talk about it, you can tell there's residual anger and pain, and they haven't forgiven. They may have thought about forgiveness, and they've maybe forgiven the person in their head, but not in their heart. The pain is still there. They haven't forgiven. So maybe in those situations, it means just doing a little bit each day. And so if you're out there in that position, maybe you just start saying that prayer tonight and think about that person and, and say, Lord, give me the grace. Give me the grace just to start thinking about forgiveness. And if you do a little bit each day, then the grace of God will come in and he'll take you the rest of the way. Thank you so much for joining us for this daily reflection. And I ask you, please be careful, be safe, and God bless you.